Hey there everyone, Crossflux and Broken Ideas, back with another look at an indie demo. On today's agenda is Biomorph, which is in development by the Montreal company Lucid Dreams. It's a 2D metroidvania, so right up our alley. As you know, we can be quite picky with this genre, so let's see how Biomorph stacks up. Like most demos, there isn't really a lot of story to go off of currently, but we are treated to a very beautifully animated opening cutscene which introduces us to our protagonist, Harlow, and her companions, Zeki and Eni, which are her floating glove hand thingies. We don't know too much about what's going on, but that's perfectly fine, since this is just a demo and we should be primarily focused on the gameplay. I was surprised when I saw how much dialogue is in this game. The three characters actually have quite a bit to say when things happen. This isn't entirely unwelcome, just surprising since a lot of protagonists in this genre are silent. I'd personally prefer Harlow to be a silent protagonist, but none of the three say that much, so it's not a slog to get through. They also say interesting things instead of just, oh look, a new power-up, why don't you try it out? The setting begins with a damp, dark, industrial environment, but the demo ends with Harlow being thrown into the wide open world. Hopefully this is a hint about the variety of environmental settings. When it comes to presentation, Biomorph excels as well. The cutscenes are animated just as smoothly as the in-game animations. The design of Harlow is phenomenal, and I love the use of the colors in the demo. Sounds are great, nothing's annoying, nothing feels out of place, it's all very cohesive and feels very immersive. The music is mostly ambient noise, and it does a great job of drawing you into the experience of the game. Feedback of Harlow getting hit and dealing damage feels absolutely perfect, and even the UI is clean and neat. There's a good variety of environmental storytelling as well, with the background providing tons of details of what's happened in each of these screens, it's really easy to come to your own conclusions of what may be going on in this place. Oh boy, my favorite part of this game. Biomorph is an absolute blast to play through. Harlow moves quickly and is incredibly responsive. The rate at which she descends feels right, and the height of her jump is controllable by how long you hold the button. I also love that she moves just as quickly in the air as she does on the ground. In fact, she feels a lot like the knight from Hollow Knight. Also like the knight, she possesses the ability to strike both above and below her, even allowing her to pogo off of enemies. She also comes equipped with a wall jump and a dash right off the bat. The dash is on a moderate cooldown and covers a good amount of distance. It also makes Harlow invulnerable, so it helps you to reposition safely. This dash can, thankfully, also be used in the air. The level design makes use of this by providing you with terrain where this ability is necessary. The wall jump is just like the Mantis Claw from Hollow Knight, allowing you to jump off the same surface multiple times, effectively letting you climb. A short way into the demo, you also gain access to a ranged weapon. It's pretty cool because it can be freely fired from any direction, but it also locks on nearby enemies. It has a short cooldown, which is fine, because if things get intense, you may find it difficult to spam it anyways. Another neat thing about how the bow controls is it's like Link's bow from Breath of the Wild. When aiming with it in the air, your descent is slowed, allowing you to take a few extra moments to line up your shot without needing to worry about where you're landing. This is a small thing, but it really helps and goes a long way. The only thing Harlow doesn't have is a double jump, but after speaking to the developers in their Discord server, they have revealed that further into the game, your dash will be upgraded so that it can be used in any direction, effectively acting as a pseudo double jump. I actually really dig this idea and can't wait to play around with it. Finally, the last ability granted in this demo is the titular Biomorph. When Harlow comes across the corpse of an enemy, she can possess it. These sort of act like temporary power-ups, and reminds me a bit of copy abilities from Kirby games. I can see this mechanic being used in many different ways. The two morphs utilized in the demo are of a creature that can dash forward, and a hulking brute that can punch through obstacles that Harlow can't. This last one is also usable against the first boss. Speaking of, the boss demonstrated in this demo is actually quite bad. It's not hard in the slightest, and is simply a damage sponge. Perhaps the developers wanted the demo to be straightforward and easy, but there could have been at least a slight challenge. In fact, the whole demo is quite easy. 
Don't get me wrong, not every game needs to be challenging, but there should be something. Once again, this is just a demo. So there's way more to come, and there's plenty of time for the developers to iron out any kinks, flesh out more ideas, add anything they want to add. What they demonstrated so far is about as good as it can possibly get. A true sequel to the masterpieces that have come before it, like Hollow Knight, Tesla Grad, and Blasphemous. I've truly been blown away by this demo. I couldn't be more excited for a game than I am right now about Biomorph. If you love Metroidvanias, especially newer ones, please do yourself a favor and try out the demo. It's only about 10-20 to 20 minutes long. Seriously, great job Lucid Dreams. You've done what so few are able to do. Draw inspiration from the classics, utilize the improvements that have been made since then, while also maintaining your own vision and making your game stand on its own. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm sure Biomorph will be another one of these fondly remembered classics years from now. Until, Until next time, have, have a blessed day. day.